Okay, next video in the series. And honestly, I forgot. I've lost track, so hopefully you've been keeping track. All right, moving on. Um, what are your, I want you to do your initial thoughts on geometry, circles, pi, 3.14, and diameter and or radius. What do you know about these? What do you think about these? What comes to mind? Oh my gosh, it's geometry. Ouch. Just let me know. Okay? So when you're done, go ahead and continue on. Go ahead and pause the video. Take about five minutes to write down your initial thoughts. All right, welcome back. Let's move on. Okay, which of these do you think is more accurate? This formula for finding the circumference, pi times diameter equals circumference, or using a tape measure, um, or a, a measuring the distance around something. What do you think is more accurate? Go ahead and make your prediction in your notes, and we'll have a little activity to kind of figure out which is more accurate. Measuring out the circumference, or how far something goes, or calculating it. Okay, uh, moving on. Uh, so now that we've done that activity and you found out that found out which is more accurate, measurement, measuring tape, or a formula, we're going to use this to kind of predict how far we're going to go. So you can use the circumference of your tire to predict how far, how many rotations you need to go to you need to make to go a specific distance. So as an example. Um, if your tire is, say, five centimeters around, then it would go five centimeters in one rotation. And hopefully you saw that in the activity that we did as a class. So the formula would look something like the next line here, where you would have rotations, I denote that RO, is equal to the distance you want to travel divided by the what I call the cot the circumference of the tire. Right? You divide the distance you want to go, let's say you want to go five centimeters, and you have a five centimeter tire, you would then get one rotation. Okay, So just something to, something, that's another way of writing that formula there. Okay, um, So you're going to create a data table, and hopefully you've watched the data table video. If you haven't seen the data table video, go ahead and um, make sure you see that. Um, but in your data table, it's going to look something like this. You're going to have rotation data as the title. You're going to have tire circumference, and you'll put that number here. And you'll have distance, 5 centimeters, 20 centimeters, 25 centimeters, 5 meters. And then you'll have a column for rotations. Um, and you're going to, you can use formulas like D1 divided by B2 is equal to the rotations. You can go ahead and use that. Um, and you want to add to this. You want to continually add to this data table. So, for example, if I know the diameter of my tire, here, I can multiply it by pi and that will give me the tire circumference. Here, x is equal to the um, no, circumference, I don't know why I have that on there, um, but basically you'll be putting the rotations in here. Okay. Diameter for circumference is you'll need to know the diameter of your tire. Um, incomplete data table, Elite partner just fine. Oh, go ahead and ignore this slide here. Uh, this was for a past class. I'm not gonna worry about it, just ignore that. Okay, so finding rotations. So there's two types of turns. This is where we get into turning, and we'll talk a lot more about this in class. Um, but I do want you to see, kind of see this here. Um, you're going to be doing a point turn and a swing turn. Point turn is a turn in place. You can see it's going around like that. And a swing turn is swinging around a center point. Um, the circumference of each turn for your bots is going to be 50.2 centimeters. And swing turn is 100.48 centimeters. Um, you can use this formula here. Um, and I'll help you with that here. But if You'll, the angle of your turn times circumference of a turn and, and trust me we've talked about this or we will have talked about a lot of this in class as well um, here's an example with the 480 degree turn there's the angle circumference of the turn type divided by the 360 and the tire circumference and same thing for a swing turn um, here's what the pseudocode would look like for that for a point turn pseudocode for a swing turn Here's what the code would look like. And notice I'm using tank blocks. Okay. 
If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. This completes our video series, almost, but I'd like to know what's something new that you've learned about circumference and geometry and turning and using um, radiuses or diameters. What's something you already knew but see differently? And what more do you need to know to be comfortable in turning and making and using distance traveled and all that stuff? All right, go ahead and pause the video when you're done. Um, finish up your notes and you are good to go.